Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Makeup Monday. As you can see by the title, by my look, today we are doing a neon look. And I'm not gonna lie, this look was <clears throat> very hard. Very, it, it tried me. It tried every single patience level piece thing that I have in my body and it tried me but I think we did a pretty good job since it is makeup Monday I was like you know what so we're gonna sit down we're gonna do a full beat I know you guys tell me all the time that you love it when I do a full face beat on camera so that's what we're doing today the only thing that I did off camera is my nose contour and my brows which I do have a nose contour video and my brows they're basic so yeah, that is the only reason why I do them off camera. Other than that, we're just playing around with makeup. I really wanted to create a neon look. A, it's super trendy this year. And B, I just got this really cute bodysuit from Ross. As always, I was minding my own business at Ross. And I came across this like super cute bodysuit. And I'm wearing, um, what are they called? Pajama pants. Such a cute bodysuit. And I was like, you know what? I want to do a really pretty neon look and I wanted to play with some neon pigments. Look at me just like looking at myself. <laughs> with that said, we are going to play with some makeup. So grab your hot Cheetos, grab your limon, squirt the limon on it and let's go ahead and do some makeup. I'm actually going to take a different eye base today. I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Elements Core Eye Primer. I did do a review on this entire brand and this is literally a perfect dupe for the MAC Painterly Paint Pots. So I'm just gonna take that and I am going to just dab it all over the eyes. I wanted to recreate this look that I found on Pinterest, which is this one right here. This is exactly the look that I am going for, so hopefully we can make it happen. Unfortunately, there is no um, name of the makeup artist or anything, so if you guys know who this person is, I'll be more than happy to give credit where it's due. We're gonna start off with this first pigment. These don't have any names, but they are by the brand Mayo Makeup, which they sell tons of neon pigments. Use whatever pigment you have or whatever color you have. You can also dig into the James Charles palette if you don't have this neon color and just go in with this like lime green color. And I'm just pushing down the pigment into the lid I'm not really like blending with pigments you almost mainly have to push them down and then blend them out because if you just apply them on the eye and then blend them out they're not going to do what you want them to oh she neon the next pigment is going to be this neon orange, which I've used so many times on my channel. Reference back to the James Charles palette and use this neon orange. I would do a white base if you don't have these pigments, just so you can really intensify them and make them pop. And again, we're gonna go with the orange pigment. Wow, this color is so intense. I've used this a few times on my channel and you guys love it every time that I use it. It's just so beautiful. And neon is such a trend this year. I know I've said that like a million times, but it really, really is. Neon is everywhere. Now, once you get closer to that lime green pigment, obviously you want to make sure that you blend them. And all you can do is just like lightly tap them together. to diffuse the colors. I'm actually going to take this Morphe M507 little brush and I'm just going to work on diffusing those colors because as you can see, like 
the lines are very harsh and very obvious and I don't like that I like my pigments to be uh, blended or just my eyeshadow in general so make sure you clean your brush and I'm first going to go over the edges since we don't have a transitional shade um, I want to make sure that these lines at the top don't look harsh and that they actually blend and they look nice that is the joys of makeup we get to have fun do what you want do what you don't want and again just using a very light hand you don't want to press down too hard so you don't move the pigments around P.S. if you guys know of any other brands that sell really bomb pigments um, let me know because I've heard that these pigments aren't like the best out there I personally like them but then again I haven't used any other pigments so there's that okay we're not gonna worry too much about the blending right now let's move on to the very last color which is like this hot pink red I don't know it's just insanely pigmented and again you can use a red eyeshadow I think what I'm going to do is again going to pick up the James Charles palette and I'm going to take this shade which is a pretty like neon red and I'm only going to take a little bit and I'm going to lay this down right here I'm not laying it all over the lid I'm just mainly using this to help me diffuse the next pigments that I'm applying because again these pigments are pretty hard to blend out without them getting like a little bit patchy Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish blending off camera because this is going to take me a while. I will come back and hopefully have a bomb ass look because, I don't know, I'm not feeling this. So just, just give me some, just give me one moment. Alright, I tried my best to blend this out and this one got a little bit patchy on me. So we're going to try and fix that later, but you know what? It's stressing me out and I'm like overthinking it, so let's move on. To the skin, I'm going to take my Revolution Pro um, Hydra Matte Primer. Again, I also did a review on this product along with this one. If you guys want to see that, you can click here or here. For my foundation, I'm going to take the one that I've been using for the past like week or so. The Hourglass Veil or the Hourglass Vanish Foundation in the shade Honey. I love this foundation. I forget how good it is. And every time I take it out, I'm like, oh my God, yes, that's true. I love you. I totally love you. And I've been using it. So we're just going to apply that all over the skin. I'm also going to bring it down to my neck because my neck does not tan. Like, what is the deal with that? My whole body tans, but my neck just like stays the color it is, which I hate because the rest of my body is a lot darker than my actual face. I think it's because... I exfoliate and I do so many like skin treatments. I don't know. I could be crazy. I'm actually going to. I'm going to take my concealer again, Conceal and Define Makeup Revolution C7. We like a full coverage beat, even though it's been so hot these past days that I actually haven't even been wearing foundation. I've just been spot concealing, or sometimes I'll do like um, a little bit of a powder foundation, and that has been working out really nicely. But oh my god, it is so hot here in Utah, which... I actually like I like the heat I don't I don't mind the winter but we get so much snow sometimes that it's like okay Utah come on and then our winters are so long and our summers are pretty short so that's why I try not to complain about us having like heat because then when it's cold everybody wants the heat I totally didn't do this on purpose but I'm also going to take the hourglass veil little setting powder and I'm just going to set underneath the eyes I'm 
Okay, so for a bronzer, I'm going to take this Cover FX Monochromatic Bronzer Duo. This is the Matte and Shimmer, and uh, this is a Sun Kissed Bronze. Oh my god, I picked this up not too long ago because I really had wanted to try out this, and like I've said a million times, I'm going to take the bronzer and the Morphe E4. You guys know that I'm like super obnoxious when it comes to my highlight and I like it to be like super intense. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing. Um, I take just any regular highlighter. I'm going to use the Becca Prosecco Pop highlighter today. And I'm just going to apply it how I normally would. I finally got a new chair, you guys. Do you see this? I had a... <laughs> I had a stool chair for the longest time and I cannot tell you how many times I about fell back in that thing because I took off the little, um, what's this called? This, like the respaldillo or whatever. Um, there's some words that I don't, don't know how to say in English that I only know how to say in Spanish, so please don't hate me. But I had taken that off forever ago because you could see it in my videos and I hated it. It was so ugly. So I ended up taking it off. But again, I can't tell you guys how many times I about fell backwards <laughs> of that chair. So on top of that, I'm going to take a little bit of lunch money. Or actually, no. I'm going to first take the Jeffree Star Caramel Kiss Supreme Frost Highlighter. Now, this one is absolutely stunning you guys it is a beautiful highlighter it is very glittery unfortunately it's like a tad bit darker for me even though i am like put like morenita right now but it's still a little dark so what i like to do is i just like i grab a little bit on my pinky finger do you guys see that and i'm just going to almost like push it down and blend it and i'm only applying this right here and like the really peak of my cheekbone and then just to kind of like seal the deal i'm taking a little bit of the ColourPop lunch money highlighter and i'm only going to apply this to the highest point and just blend it and look at that <laughs> we are shining this is as good as this eyeshadow is going to get unfortunately i am not, not happy with it at all but you know what <sighs> we're just going to continue we're going to stay positive we're going to add lashes liner and we're going to look a lot better so i'm going to take my l'oreal uh flash cat eye and i'm not doing a wing because she doesn't have a wing i'm just drawing a line across my lid And then I think I'm going to add some pretty dramatic lashes to hide the fact that I didn't blend <laughs> this eyeshadow well. So let me grab some lashes. I think I'm going to go in with Drama Queen, which is my lash collection with the Lash Kitty. I believe those lashes are currently sold out, but I will have the rest of my lashes, my lash styles linked down below. I feel so much better now that I have lashes and liner. I feel like it looks a little bit cuter so for the lips i want to stick with a nude obviously but i want it to be a little bit like cool tone and very light because the eyes are so bright i'm going to first line them with my absolute favorite lip liner of life which is soft brown or brown by italia just like that and then for my liquid lip i'm going to take this abh stripped liquid lipstick which is a very soft like nude pink and then for my lip gloss i'm going to take the j cat cat sued um caught you bare naked lip gloss i'm going to go back with my italian lip liner just so it doesn't look so weird looks better Okay, guys, and this is the final look. What do you guys think about this neon pigments eye look? 
I like it. Not my best work, I'm not gonna lie, um, but that is the joy of makeup. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you know what? I'm gonna rock this look with confidence. I'm gonna keep my cute little bodysuit on, throw some cute shorts, cute gladiator sandals, and I'm gonna go have a good time where I don't know because I don't have any plans, but I hope you guys enjoyed this full face of nothing new, no new makeup really. I don't know what else to say besides thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for joining me for Makeup Monday. Love you and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye you guys.